End of life care isn't easy, and Texas lawmakers recently changed the rules. A new law that prevents doctors from writing do not resuscitate orders without a patient's permission also adds a new barrier for those who don't want to be brought back to life. As Kegs and Steffi Lee reports, the way the law is worded is creating some confusion for patients and doctors. Yeah, I was just horrified. Sabrina Martin's family says they wanted information on their daughter's recovery after a brain infection in 2006, but instead they learned they were able to put in a DNR from a doctor, which we did not catch until we asked more questions. Sabrina lived for another eight years, but stories like this are what motivated Texas lawmakers. Their families have greater rights in terms of their uh, family members and how end-of-life care is dealt with. Under the new rules, only the attending doctor, the one directly working with the patient, can decide to order a natural death. A doctor cannot decide unless there are two witnesses. If it's a verbal request from the patient, at least one of the witnesses must be someone other than a family member or hospital staffer. Well, you can't ask someone else's family member because that's a HIPAA violation. So who would you get? A volunteer? Perhaps? Do we have enough of those available? Dr. Liam Fry is the division chief of geriatrics and palliative of medicine at Dell Medical School in Austin. It does feel like it's it's gonna add barriers. She says the rules are already causing some delays in care. We had someone whose family, um, as a part of a discussion with a palliative care physician, wanted to pursue hospice and be a do not resuscitate. But to actually get the DNR, it took up to 12 hours because the attending physician, again, was not involved in that discussion. Any doctor who violates this new law also faces a criminal misdemeanor charge and could face disciplinary action by the Texas Medical Board. And that was Steffi Lee reporting. Nobody wants to guess what your wishes are, so talk with your loved ones about what you'd like and what they'd like in a life or death situation and sign the necessary forms. And you can find those online at the Health and Human Services website. Everything from directives to physicians and family to medical and durable power of attorney.